Getting tired. <laughs> All that walking. Hey guys. Whew, we just got done. Actually, we didn't just get done filming. We got done fun fishing, which is something we don't do a lot. But we were filming yesterday and uh, got a killer whitefish episode. Definitely got an awesome whitefish episode. Oh. And we just we just got off the lake now. We're packing up. We're going to hit in the get in the truck, drive a couple hours to our next destination. Just want to show that we kind of continually keep going as we drive here to get, you know, more episodes. But this week, we're going to do something a little bit different for a fishing episode. Guys, you have asked us many, many times. I mean, so many times that it's <laughs> we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to film an episode that shows you guys what this man does right here. The unsung hero of Fish Addictions TV, the guy that day in and day out gets everything you guys see and actually makes us look good. <laughs> well, we're, true. <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to give away all the secrets, uh, but we are going to kind of give you the ins and outs of how we film our show as a fishing show. Uh, not every show does it the way we do it. We have fun, but we're just going to show you the ins and outs and it's going to be a cool episode, but that's episode one. Yes. Episode two. Episode two, you're going to see what, what he got. So I don't think this has ever been done before. Episode one of this like two part series is going to be everything this guy's doing behind the scenes. And episode two of this series is going to be everything he caught of us. So it's going to give you guys a perspective on our show that I don't think anybody's ever seen. Two different point of views, two different styles. It's gonna be awesome, and we can't wait to, to show you what we do here at Fish Addictions TV. Guys, Fish Addictions TV starts now. Addiction, the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. What happens when an addiction cannot be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear and the rest of our fine sponsors. One of the things that we get asked a lot is what goes into doing what you guys do and what people don't really get or understand is the fact that the preparation for each individual episode actually starts weeks or even sometimes months in advance. Well, our plan is to do uh, go up do this episode try to get that done before the weather comes in because Sunday weather starts getting looks like it starts getting crappy. Whether we're at an ice show and we're talking to a buddy about a bite they might have, or a bite that you know of that you've got to go out and make sure that they're there. and All the way to getting hotels, lining up uh, and everybody who's coming, all the guys you see on the episode. Basically, for it to get from there to you, everything's got to run flawless. So me and Mike had this crazy idea of doing a production style episode of Fish Addictions TV from behind the scenes while still doing a normal Fish Addictions episode. Uh, we didn't have a cameraman quite in mind. 
Tyler usually does a lot of our extra video stuff and he was busy this weekend. So we called up one of our other uh, Fish Addiction staff members that used to be a part of the staff because um, he's looking to get more into photography and videography and we called him up and we said, hey, would you like to try and take on this project of filming me do my job behind the lens of Fish Addictions TV. This is more of an idea and a storyline of something creative that we thought would be cool for the viewer. This isn't something that's gonna be at the highest production levels we possibly can, but more of the fact of being a cool production storyline. So hopefully all this stuff that you guys get to watch of us making an episode um, kinda gets your, your brain turning a little bit of how a TV show is made here on Fox Sports North in the outdoor industry. All right, so we just got here uh, at our destination. Um, we had a three hour drive. We jammed out some music. I got some shots. And basically just had fun road tripping. Uh, half of the experience of doing this is being on the road with Mike and just having fun. So now that we're here, we're gonna unpack, get everything situated, get all the batteries charged, cards unloaded, and get ready for tomorrow early morning and we're just gonna have, relax, have fun, and wait for the other guys to get here. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Don't use that Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. At Glacier, our goal is to build only the highest quality ice fishing shelters, constructed of premium materials that will provide lasting value and years of trouble-free service. See for yourself how our attention to detail and never-ending commitment to product improvement sets a Glacier Ice House apart from the competition and makes a Glacier Ice House the ultimate way to play. For more information, visit GlacierIceHouse.com. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats. So filming a fishing show, um, it, it's not in it's not easy. A lot of people just think, you know, you grab a camera, you press record, you send it all into automatic sendings, and you go out and you film guys fishing uh, or hunting. And it, it's nowhere near that. I mean, the amount of time and effort it takes to do some of this stuff that we do is unreal. Okay, so we just got to uh, where we're gonna be fishing. The guys get all the, the sleds, uh, all the fishing gear, all that good jazz out of their trucks. They get it all ready. And it's my job to get the mics out, start passing them around to the people that I want to have mics, uh, get the camera gear all situated, and just, I guess, get prepared to hit the lake. 80% of the time we're out on sleds. So I gotta load that up into the sleds. This is the sled no one usually sees. It's the big cameraman sled. It's got a huge box on it, and that's to fit all the camera stuff in. Um, but I'm gonna continue filming, getting stuff ready, 
and we're hitting the lake. And right away, I got to start filming. I think part of the best storyline um, in a fishing show is getting that from start to finish. Meaning right when you get to that boat landing or even before at the hotel and the, the, or the lodge the morning before you get out to that. And then the adventure onto the lake. I think the best part of a show in general is the adventure that comes along with it. And here at Fish Addictions, we like to show adventure. All right, so uh, Thor is the cameraman today. And uh, let's go get some B-roll shots. B-roll shots are basically the filler shots, the extra shots, people jigging, people walking, people drilling holes. You know, it's really difficult because, um, you know, when the camera's in your face all the time, because you, number one, when you're fighting a fish, you feel like it's so critical that you get them up, and so you, you're oversensitive, and sometimes you, you take it a little too easy. And then the other thing is, you know, Aaron's asking us, you know, say this, say that, and it's, it's sometimes it's hard to, to get out of that fishing mindset and, and, you know, try to teach what you're doing and say what you're doing. It's, it's, it's difficult, it really is. So it's a challenge amongst the challenge of trying to catch fish. I sure do like that cast master, that new tiger glow. I mean, that's really the key today, you know. They hit that thing, that pink. You know, it's just like in the summer. These fish love, you know, pink jerk baits, pink top water baits. I don't know what it is about these brown bass, but they love the color pink. You know, filming a TV show is a lot like fishing a tournament. Every single fish counts. We don't land on a hundred fish every day. We don't just plop down and catch a fish in the first hole that we have. We're out here sometimes pre-fishing. We're out here several days and we might fish two, three days before we find the fish that we're looking for. So it just takes a lot of preparation and every single fish counts. All right, good luck time. That's my first bass. I did catch a walleye though. I'm gonna put that out there just so everybody knows that. It totally goes against everything I did, I believe in, but good luck. Yes, Jim's hooked up, so hey, I can finally go fish. How does that even happen? There you go, Baba. Triple. So Ryan just caught a, a smallmouth, and one of the biggest things with filming or taking photos or in general is just having the fish in, a, in the most safe manner it possibly can be. So uh, when, when we're filming or not filming or taking that photo, we like to try to keep it in the water as long as possible. Um, we don't want the eyes to freeze up, the gills to freeze up. We want to take care of the fish as best as we can while still being able to get as many shots as we possibly can for the show. So. Once he, the fish comes topside and he does his talk and we figure out everything, we'll hold the fish back down in the water, you can pull her up. So we're trying to keep it as safe as we can and out of the water for as limited time. Um, and once we're all good, we've taken our photo, you can unhook her and uh, send her back down. And uh, filming a show, a lot of people question how safe the fish is. And we try to keep as best uh, care of the fish as possible because someone else wants to catch them. We don't wanna, we don't wanna hurt them. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Out here, speed is everything. The new Eskimo rocket runs fast, spins fast, cuts fast. Engineered from the ground up with an engine designed to run at optimal RPMs, giving you its fullest potential within its power band. The bulletproof all-metal transmission is geared to spin fast. The precision-based cutting head effortlessly cuts fast. Nobody sells more powered ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance. Get reliability. Get Eskimo. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattlemaster, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all-new professional-grade Tungsten series, 
Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast, Reeds has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. Team Fishing. Make your own luck. Perfect. Get her back in the water. So one of the one of the good things about our show is we like to add that camaraderie and that um, the drone shots, the emotion, the, the adventure. We got a fish. One of the things that a lot of people don't see behind the scenes is just the sheer amount of footage and content that we put together to get an episode. I mean, there's hours upon hours of footage that are on hard drives and computers that never see the light of day. And, you know, we just have to comb through that and put together the best storyline that we want to portray to be able to bring you along for the trip. You have eight different style of cameras, um, from shoulder mount slow motion cameras to photo DSLR cameras, stabilized camera, drone camera, POV style cameras like GoPros. Uh, it it's, uh, takes a lot of batteries, a lot of manpower, a lot of different figuring out what's next. So if I have downtime, what should I do? Should I go and get drone shots? All right, it's my favorite time of the episode. Not only is it brought time, it is also uh, the time where I get to use my fun, creative, uh, Mike almost hit it. Drone shots. You know, when we're figuring out a show and a storyline. I'm, I'm sitting on the ice and I'm rambling through different ideas or I'm looking at Mike and I'm figuring out, all right, should we go down this path? Should we go down this path? Um, how do we want the storyline to go? <laughs> There's no planning of that because you never know how the shoot's gonna go or what fish you're gonna catch or how anything's gonna be. So we kind of do that on the fly as we go. So sitting down and being able to talk to some of the staff and figure out, okay, should we do this education piece for this? Or do you wanna tell me this or this because I need a tip for this? Let's do that, let's set it up and and uh, get that as an education tip. So, are you all ready to go? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, and action. So I want to talk to you guys today about uh, questions that I've had personally um, is filming yourself while on the ice to try and benefit your social media um, at home or on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, we use a lot of POV cameras, uh, point of view cameras, which would be GoPros, uh, cameras that you can basically stick in little nicks and crannies of different things to get uh, better shots that you can't with the big cameras. A lot of people at home have GoPros and uh, POV type cameras. So my tip is basically on how to uh, film yourself basically for an ice fishing situation. Um, a bunch of our staff and sometimes uh, on most of our shoots, uh, this year with the Markham Shuttle, we have utilized the GoPro uh, pretty much in every episode so far. Um, being that 
the best, I think, for the use of, let's just say the average person that doesn't know how to do a lot of filming, would be the GoPro 5 Session. Um, I think this little device, even though it doesn't have a back screen, is absolutely perfect for the average person. Uh, using your iPhone or your uh, Android phone, you can sync it up to it and you can actually see uh, basically where you're shooting. Um, with it being ultra wide or a wide, wide lens, you can actually, you don't really have to do a whole lot when it comes down to seeing exactly where you're shooting. Um, so we have it hooked up to the Markham shuttle. We have a power cable plugged right into it. So we actually do not lose any battery while we're filming all day long. We used to run into problems where you would just get the battery drained, it's cold outside, etc. So being able to plug it directly into the Markham shuttle will give this battery life all day long. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. You know, for me, the being on TV part of it isn't as important as being with these guys. I absolutely love this crew that we have. A lot of us get to be really good friends really quickly because we're all very similar, and so it's, it, it ends up being really easy. We're able to bond over something like this, and I've, I've got some of my best friends out of this. So there's a lot that goes into it and there's a lot of stresses that are involved with it, but there's you also see a lighter side of it too when we do all the fun stuff, when we go and we, we hang out with each other and we, we grill and we stay at cabins and everybody has that camaraderie. And oh, look at yours, dude. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes. Woo! Two footballs. It's, it's so much fun to be with everybody and have it all come together and tie in as one. I mean, there's a time to be professional about it, but there's also a, a, a time to have fun. And I think showcasing that as well is also really big. Oh, we just finished the on ice portion of this episode uh, here in Wisconsin. Now the real fun work begins. The editing, the getting everything off the cameras, the hard drives, the charging, the ride back home, and I still have some interviews to do as well. Right, clap for me one time. You know, one of the cool things about finishing up on the ice is, do we have it? That, that's what always goes through my head. Did we get an episode? Um, because if not, are we coming back out tomorrow? What, what's the game plan gonna be? You know, in other episodes, it's always like, we need one more fish. We have to have one more fish. <laughs> the guys look over at me and they're like, hey, did you do it? And I'm like, yeah, we got an episode. We, we got, the, I believe, enough content, enough fish, um, enough everything to really bring this into a great production. So we just got back to the, the hotel. Uh, Anthony's whooping up some food. The guys are in there just, you know, reminiscent of the trip, having a good old time, having fun. I'm over here in the dungeon all by myself with, of course, Thor. And uh, as you can see, I got all the containers spread out. The batteries are already on chargers. Uh, we did go through quite a few batteries on this trip. It wasn't cold either. It's just we filmed so much um, that we had to just burn through them. Right now I got my, my computer set up and I'm taking all the cards from today, which by the way is 12 different cards for 12 different cameras. And I am importing everything into folders for Tyler. And then once all that's done, I'm gonna then duplicate this hard drive to another hard drive and put it in the truck. So just in case this place burns down tonight, we'll still have the whole episode. And we can then, tomorrow morning, we can overnight it to uh, Tyler so he'll have all the footage so he can start editing on it. You know, the episode doesn't end as soon as we get off the ice. The work doesn't end. We've got to edit the video. We've got to go over it time and time and time again. So Tyler is one of the main people with Fish Addictions TV. He is the editor of the show. He also is a second camera guy on some shoots. Um, he's really 
the editing brains when it comes down to the physical show itself and the amount of effort and time he puts in week after week for those 17 weeks that you guys get to watch our show working into the in two three four in the morning just to get a revision or an episode done uh, it, it's unreal we package up all the footage onto a hard drive and overnight it to tyler he gets it he unloads all the footage and he starts working on it right away editing naming putting clips into the right place figuring out the storyline or the storyboard from everything that i shot and he starts making an awesome show and the first things we try to do for me is um, I, I try to organize all my camera gear for the road trip back home unloading all the cards from the, the the previous shoot or that day's shoot getting all the batteries charged up and ready to go and just get everything organized because once we go home uh, I, I like to come home with everything just in a, in a sense together I don't want to come home and have everything be a shamble uh, get everything set up and then boom head to the next trip one of the best part of being about a camera guy, snack time. We really need to figure out Aaron's moods, is a lot of it. That's what we gotta do. It's how hungry, how, how tired is he starting out in the morning? What time do we have to get up? How much sleep did he get? Did he get breakfast? Are we stopping at a gas station? And what time is lunch? That's how his moods work, is all around food. So if Aaron's getting grumpy because we're not catching fish, you throw him a cheese wish. <laughs> Mike almost hit it. Drone shots. That almost smoked me in the face.